So ChatGPT is something which everyone watching this video must have heard of and maybe you already used it using your mobile phones and computers. But what if I say you can now use ChatGPT in your ESP32 board as well? Yes, like you can ask the question to ESP32 board and it will respond you via ChatGPT AI and you can use the similar method for any of the microcontroller board that has Wi-Fi connectivity in it and not only that, you can use the same method for building your own mobile applications. So basically, we'll be using the ChatGPT APIs for making this and in this video, I'll be guiding you about how to use the ChatGPT API and initially we'll be using it with the Postman application and then I will teach you how to use that API in our ESP32 board to get all the answers via ChatGPT AI. So stick around with this video to learn something new and we'll be starting this video after a short and informative ad. This video is sponsored by LTM and they came up with an amazing product called as LTM365. So LTM365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LTM365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your projects over web for review purposes. It do cover sharing your PCB file to mechanical team so that they can create the mechanical product package based on your PCB. Then it also provides centralized cloud storage so you don't need to rely on one single computer for your files. It also helps you with managing your components and get real-time supply chain data for your components. It also allows multiple people to work on single project. And in the end, it also helps you with sending your design to final manufacturing units. So LTM 365 takes care of all other tasks so you put more time and effort in making something creative and useful. And the good part is you can try out its free version as well. I'll leave its free trial version link down in the description of this video so do check that out. And now let us start with this video. So first we need to make an account on OpenAI and for that you need to go to platform.openai.com and here you need to make your account. I'll simply log in with my Google account. After that provide a couple of your basic details. Verify your phone number and we are done with it. So for new users, OpenAI provides a $5 credit in their account and to check that out, you need to click here and click on manage account. After that, go to usage and here as you can see, I got $5 in my OpenAI account through which I can use the APIs and it will be expired on September 2023. And now to know the charges of ChatGPT, you need to go to this page. So it will be charging you around $0.002 per thousand token. And if you ask what does a token means, then it is mentioned here. So it is assumed that thousand token will be around 750 words. And these words are nothing but the total words used to ask the question and getting the response from AI. So that was the pricing structure of ChatGPT. And now to use this API, we first need to generate the API key. And for that, go to API keys and click on create new secret key. Here give a random name and click on create. Just copy this key and paste it in your computer as we will require it later. So now we are ready to test the API. So let's first test with the Postman application. So here is my Postman application. Now Postman is a tool using which we can test out our APIs and see the responses. I'll be leaving away its download link down in the description of this video. So after opening that postman, uh, first of all, we'll be selecting the post method for this uh, API and we'll be pasting this URL. Now this URL is common for all the uh, chat GPT users. After that, we'll go to the headers and here we need to provide two key value pairs. First is content uh, hyphen type and here the content type is nothing but application forward slash JSON. Okay. The next uh, token uh, key value pair is authorization and here you first need to type as bearer space. Here you need to provide your uh, API key. So I'll uh, paste my API key. Great. So these two key value pairs we need to provide inside the headers. After that, go inside the body, uh, click on raw and paste this JSON formatted data, which contains four key value pairs, model, prompt, temperature, and max token. Here model is nothing but the AI model, which we'll be using. Then prompt is nothing but what question we need to ask to chat GPT. Here I have written as who are you? Temperature is an inter interesting parameter. So to clarify what temperature actually is, uh, here is the definition. So temperature actually controls the randomness and creativity of generated text. Lower values result in more focused outputs, while higher value yield diverse and creative text. And the temperature range is from zero to one. Okay. So here I have provided as zero as I want more focused output. After that, max tokens is written as five, which means 
I want the response with maximum five tokens only, maybe less, but not more than five. Here you can change the number of token to get the, you know, a big answer or bigger response. But let, for testing purpose, let us keep it five and let, uh, then we'll be, you know, changing this number and testing what uh, difference we are getting. Okay. So simply we need to pro provide this body, these two headers and this URL. And with the help of this, we can easily access chat GPT from any devices. So let us try to uh, send this API request and see what we are getting in response. It says sending request. And yeah, the status is 200. Okay. It means it was a successful uh, communication and we got this much uh, data in response. And the main uh, thing which we need to focus is the text. So text contains the response from the server and text is nothing but IMA. Now here with the IMA response, five tokens were utilized. Hence we are not getting the uh, other data. So if I change the token uh, from five to let's say 10, and if I resend this request, now we are getting a proper answer, it, which is I am a person who is interested in, well, the answer is way bigger. So if I increase this to 50, I'll be getting the complete answer. I'm a person who is interested in learning and exploring new things. This was the complete answer. And this answer utilized total 20 tokens. Now, I guess prompt tokens are nothing but the a number of words used for asking the question and completion tokens are nothing but the number of words which we are getting from the response or from the AI side. Okay. So in the end, 20 tokens were utilized for this single API request. And uh, we all know the relation between the tokens and the amount in dollars that we already discussed. Okay. Now let's try to change the temperature as well. And let's see what difference we are getting. So if I put the temperature as 0 0.5, I'm getting a creative answer called as I am a software engineer. So the answer got changed the way of, you know, giving the answer changed. Okay. So this is how you can you know, play with the temperature for different, different responses. And here you can provide the maximum tokens to be sure that not more than this amount of tokens will be utilized per uh, API click. Okay. So this is how we tested it on Postman app and it is working fine. And now let us see how we can request the same post a uh, request method in our ESP32 board to get all the answers from chat GPT. So we are just requesting one uh, link, which is this. After that, we are adding the header, which are the two headers content type, which is application JSON. And the second is uh, authorization, which is nothing but our token key. After that, we are adding the payload, which contains the uh, like four JSON key value pairs model prompt temperature and max tokens. And after that, we are requesting it via post request method and whatever response we are getting, it is simply printed on the serial monitor. And that's the simple code. Okay. So I already uploaded this code into my ESP32 DevKit V1, but you can use any of the ESP32 code. And also you can use the ESP8266 uh, uh, boards. Yeah. So the code is already uploaded. I'll open the serial monitor here and it is saying that connecting to SMS Geo5, it's connected. HTTP link is requested and here is the response that we are getting and our uh, and complete answer is written inside the text. Okay. So it says I am a person who is interested in learning new things and exploring the world. The same response which we were getting in the, inside the Postman application. And that's how you can use chat GPT on your ESP32 board. Now let me take you to another example, which is complete uh, chat GPT. It is tested on the Xiao ESP32 C3 development board. And uh, yeah, it can work on the ESP32 DevKit V1 board as well. And we are selling both the boards through our website. So you can buy it if you don't have the link is in the description, by the way. Yeah. So I'll simply copy this code. Okay. I'll create a new uh, Arduino sketch and I'll paste that code here. Here I'll simply provide my SID name and password. Then we need to provide the API key, which I will copy from the previous code. Great. And that's it. The, uh, we don't need to do anything. So yeah, that's the only thing we need to provide in this code. And what this code does is it is creating a server onto the CSP32 board and we'll be connecting our clients to the server and it will be getting, I uh, know we'll be getting a web page from the server and through that web page, we can, you know, ask any question to chat GPT. Okay. So I'll simply upload this code onto my ESP32 board and let us visualize everything practically. Okay, so code is successfully uploaded. I'll open the serial monitor. Uh, it is connecting to our Wi Fi uh, network and it is connected. And we also got this uh, local IP address. So I will copy this local IP address and I'll paste it in my web browser. Okay, so we got the web page. So we are getting the Seed Studio branding because it was tested on Shao C3 board. And here is a you know, web interface where we can ask the question. So let us ask the same question as who are you? And I'll click on the submit button and I'll be getting the answer here onto the 
serial monitor okay it says i am a human being so it is the kind of a filtered answer we are getting we are not getting the complete response in the json format we are just getting a text formatted data which says i am a human being it would be great if we can get the answer straight in this web page only let us ask any other question like uh, who is techie sms let's just try it out and click on the submit button and let's just wait for the answer here and yeah, we got the answer. TechSMS is a technology blog that provides news, reviews, tutorials about the latest tech products and services. It is run by a team of tech enthusiasts who are passionate about helping people stay up to date with the latest technology. Somewhat right and somewhat weird as well because we don't review. No, we do review and we provide news kind of news. I don't know. But yeah, this is how you can use the, you know, web interface, this code to start using chat GPT on your ESP32 board. How was this video according to you? I was really surprised to know like we can use chat GPT on our ESP32 board and not only ESP32 board, but you can use this uh, API in any of the embedded uh, boards that has internet connectivity, or you can develop your own mobile application and in the backend, you can run this APIs for making your own AI based chatbots. So do drop a like to this video if you really like the concept and I am thinking a step ahead to make something interesting using it. Well, I'm thinking to make something in which I can type the question. It will be given to the ESP32 board and in the end, I am getting an audio result like there will be a speaker will, will speak out the complete answer. Well, that will be interesting project, isn't it? Do let me know your suggestions about this new idea down in the comments of the video. And let me know if should I make that kind of project video or not. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, subscribe our channel to see more such innovative project tutorials in the field of IoT, electronics and AI as well. And yeah, that being said, I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video. Until then, explore, learn, share. With me, Techie SMS.